my friend who's a, a comedy writer, he's director of the Kimmel Show, um, who's a Bill Maher aficionado, who's watched every episode, says, Andrew, it is by far the most awkward episode ever. There, there was not a single attempt at laughter. From the opening bell, they were trying to frame you as a racist, and they started going after Rush, the, tea pe the Tea Party and Rush Limbaugh as a racist. Well, I remember back in 2001 when the pendulum of political correctness, which is over here on the left, where you know if, if you're conservative, they're going to try and get you kicked off the air, off the radio, simply for, for being or existing. And when it changed on 9-11 like this, when Bill Maher said something profoundly stupid, uh, that he thought that the, these guys were heroic, that they, they showed extreme bravery to fly into the World Trade Center. I understand what he meant, though, that they, they were willing to sacrifice their lives. But it was, it, all it is, don't get so offended, it's, it's cynicism. That's all that, he is the sum of his cynicism. He just wants to say the most offensive thing because he knows that it's going to get a bark from the seals in the audience. That's all it was. And two Houston DJs started to act like the provost at your local uh, you know, liberal arts college and said, let's get this guy off the air. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Our narrative is that we're pro-freedom of speech. We're, you know, you know, and I went out there and I reached out to Prager, Handy, everyone. I said, oh my God, we have to stand by this guy on principle. Okay? And they did. All of them said, hey, wait a sec, stop going after him. Let this exist because we have to abide by this type of retribution every single day when we defend our basic American Judeo Christian, you know, democratic, limited government constitutional principles. We cannot abide by it. And so I emailed Rush Limbaugh. I said, I kind of remember back then you supported Bill Maher. He's, and he emailed back, he goes, oh yes, he sent me a handwritten thank you note for standing up for him during that thing. And so, while they're going after Rush, saying, Rush is racist, they go, wait, why are you calling Rush racist? To call somebody racist in America now is the worst thing that you can call somebody. And it's un-American because you're guilty until you prove yourself innocent. You are automatically guilty and have to dig yourself out of, of, of that accusation. I said, if this, I go, the reason why it is, is so effective is because nobody wants to be racist. We are not a racist country, and nobody wants to be called that, and so people recoil and don't even try to defend themselves. And he says, oh, what are you talking about? What about Barack the Magic Negro? What, that was like his, his one example of something the Rush did. And I said, that was David Ehrenstein, who's a black writer for the Los Angeles Times, and, he, and, and Paul Shanklin did a song called Barack the Magic Negro, making fun of a liberal calling Barack a magical, ethereal, gonna solve you know, the problems of Pluto, which is no longer uh, a planet. I can't, I can't believe that. Uh, that freaked me out, i got to be honest with you. As an aside, 